what is going on guys we're back again with from next door um last episode we encountered a very great window that uh it's gonna scare the hell out of me one of these days you know it's gonna happen um i don't exactly remember where we last left off because it's just been a few days and i don't know just just forget things sometimes so i think we have to did my remote just okay I'm gonna turn my controller back on okay cool um I think we'll have to go to sleep. That's all I can recall. Recall without dying. And this damn light thing creeps the hell out of me. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let's end the day here. Alrighty. I love RPG games. They're so fun. And plus, they're not made by like big companies or anything like that. It's like from other people. These RPG games. Nami says oh, dot 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 I feel like I haven't done anything productive in ages Maybe I should call Aizawa from work to see if there's anything for me Though she's just going to scold me for trying to work during this vacation Yeah, let's go call someone Actually, no, let's check on the window As much as I don't want to Oh my god, the freaking window's open That window is open, maybe there's someone living there after all Okay, I don't want to stare at it for too long because if I do Something's probably going to pop out, I swear. I'm not going to look at it anymore. <laughs> that window creeps me the hell out. Okay. Oh my god. The phone's ringing. Is it Amora-san? Answer the phone. Hello? Matsuda-san, I got that contact information you asked for. I don't know if Amora is a guy or a girl, so I'm just going to just gonna with, go with a guy voice. Might as well. You did? What is it? Well... I couldn't get a hold of a phone number or anything, but I did get an email address. Anything will do, Amora-san. Amora-san tells you the address and you write it down. And that's it. Thank you, Amora-san. Matsuda-san? Yeah? I had a talk with the other agent. The one that was in charge of this house before. He strongly advised me not to give this to you. Why? According to him, the previous tenant was a bit... Pertubed? I'm not quite sure what he meant by that, but please keep that in mind when you contact Sen, Matsuda-san. Uh, don't worry about it, Amora-san. Stay safe, Matsuda-san. I have a feeling I ain't gonna be safe at all, but we gonna save anyway. How do I save again? No, stop. Okay, here it is. Okay, well, I like the sound effects of that. It's so good. Oh, no. Why do I keep reading? Uh, okay, let's go email Sen. I'm not looking at that damn window right now. It's too much for me. Can't handle it. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed right now. Contact Daisuke-san. I like his name. Daisuke-san. The flow of it. The flow. I like Japanese names. You sit down to type an email to Daisuke-san. What should I ask him about? About the window or about why he left? Uh, let's ask about why he left. Although the window is probably the most important thing we should ask. Because that's the main idea. Why was it boarded up in the first place? What? Yeah. No, I'm going to ask about why he left. Hello, my name is Nami Matsuda. You don't know me, but I just moved into your old house. That's it? That's all you want to send to him? You sent a message. You hear that noise? Maybe it's just the wind in the game. I don't know. You stand in front of your laptop, anxiously waiting for a reply. Oh, reply. <laughs> Despite having no expectations of it being answered right away. If at all. This is just making me antsy. I wish I had something to do. Oh, was that him? A new email? It can't be him already. It is! You quickly open the message. Back of closet. Hidden door. Hidden door? Which closet? You type in response quickly and wait for a few moments, but there's no answer. This closet? What does it mean? Okay, let's look for it. It's probably obviously it wouldn't be in here. That's like no, it's too obvious. Is it in here? Gonna find it. Okay, maybe it's the one in this room. No, no, I mean the one on the f the bottom floor. This room, yes, it has to be it. Uh, he mentioned a hidden door for. Yep, there was a hollow. There's only so many closets in this house. There is a hollow sound somewhere. It sounds like oh, I could have went to the tatami room, but that no, no, no. Uh, it sounds like it came from behind the wood. You slide your hands across the wood until your fingers stumble upon some sort of indentation. It's a small square of wood separated from the rest at the bottom of the closet. You pull it open. 
There's a small cavity underneath, just big enough to fit a handful of things inside. You stick your hand in. Oh god, what if her hand gets like grabbed by something in there? I don't know. What could be in there? Grasping for whatever is inside, you pull out a small notebook. What is this? You flip it open on the first page. The house? Empty? One single window? No matter how much I knock, no one answers. No one has ever seen its occupants. Did I just skip something? Hold on. Oh wait, I found my own window open today. I'm pretty sure it was locked. I think I was... Oh my god. I skipped stuff. I did not mean to. I was an accident. I pressed a button on accident. The page is torn in half. Flipping it reveals that a handful of other pages have been completely torn out and the rest are blank. All except for one. They don't really believe me, do they? They already found part of my research and had it confiscated for my own good. Which is why I'm hiding this here, although I decided to keep what's left of my research inside the safe. What exactly is this? It is talking about that window and that house. And a safe? Is there a safe here somewhere? Well, I wouldn't be surprised because he like freaking left in a hurry because something was here that was going to kill me. Kill him. So, um... Why am I still looking? Okay, hold on. Hold on. I need, a, I need to read something. But I saw a light inside yesterday. Just a reflection? That's the part I skipped. The window was open today. I tried looking inside, but I couldn't see anything. He grabbed a flashlight to look inside. Nothing. It's completely pitch black. Okay. Alright. So, there was a tilted... Yeah, that thing right there. That has to be the safe. That's... If that wasn't obvious, I don't know what is. A painting the previous owner left behind. It is slightly tilted to the side. Yes, it... Yes, I found it! There's a safe behind... There's a... There's a safe behind painting... Is that the one mentioned on the notebook? You try to open it, but it seems to require a passcode. What was that? The sound seems to have come from the time. No, hell no! Uh-uh, I'm leaving. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Please, I don't... <laughs> don't even dare you do this to me. Oh my god, my window was open. <laughs> my window is fucking open. I am going to die. I'm going to die right now. If there's any good moment to die, it'd be right now. Was it the wind? Oh, hell no. The other's house window is also open. Like that notebook set, you can't see a thing. It's pitch black inside. Okay, stop looking through that. Close it. Oh my god. I'll figure out the safe thing tomorrow. Uh-uh, I would leave that damn house. Is it in my fucking house again? You hear that? Okay, be quiet. Oh my god, it's getting loud. You hear something. Footsteps? It's in my fucking house. It's in my house, damn it. Someone out there? What should you do? Okay, I'm locking the hell. Okay. Yeah, go lock the door. I would not pretend to be asleep. It's gonna come in here. It's gonna kill me. So let's go lock the door. Lock the damn door, lock the damn door, lock the damn door. We're gonna fucking die. You carefully lock the door and stand still, holding your breath. Is there really someone out there? What do they want? I swear if it knocks. Oh my god, what the fuck? It's knocking on my damn door. Whatever it is, it's knocking right outside the door. Uh-uh, I'm not letting you in. I'm gonna hold up to this. I'm gonna hold on to this door. Oh, she's been sitting there the whole time. You stayed up the rest of the night, listening intently next to the door. The noises stopped eventually, but you only entertained... She only entertained the idea of going outside well after sunrise. Can I not leave this room? I don't want to go out there. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, shit. The floor is covered in dirty footprints. Look, Looking closely, the footprints don't look like they were made by a person. An animal, maybe? This thing is a damn monster. That's probably... Oh, my God. Oh, I close the window. Close the window. From what's came from here, it looks like something entered through the window. But I locked it last night, didn't I? Yes, you did. And it's a monster. There's a strange black substance stuck to the lock. It looks like some kind of black spider web. It's a big spider. You close the window again, wiping the substance away. I should probably clean this up too. Okay, that's why he boarded it up. 
because that thing is going to open up your damn door no matter what so you have to board it back up wait what oh wait I thought it was something different there but it, it was kind of oh message who is it from safe you just said that right a new message mathematics volume 4 point spiral helix access what does that mean <gasps> mathematics okay there was a book on the bookshelf that says something about math and I remember that distinctly because the words I said was I'm Asian I'm not supposed to be good. well Asians are supposed to be good at math but that was a stereotype that's how I remember things you gotta say the most spontaneous things at the most boring moments a handful of books left here by the previous Senate wait so point is something spiral helix something what you pick up the book it is I'm like skipping the text I apologize I'm horrible at this you pick up the book it's marked on a specific page it's a chapter about spirals okay point a curve on a plane that went the winds around a fixed center point at a continuously increasing okay this is like the fitness grand pacer test stuff that you have to read um, but point is underlined which means it's underlined twice does that mean is that like the number for the safe do I have to count how many times things are underlined or said how do I go down? Oh, oops, I was pressing the wrong buttons. Helix. Holy shit, there's so many times I get through. Hold on, let me just check the message again. What am I looking for? Point spiral helix access. Point spiral. P S H A. P S H A. I'm horrible at this. Just saying. Okay, so it's two. Is that thing in my damn house? I hear stuff. Um, spiral. Helix. I found helix. Okay, I'm probably just going to be right back when I'm done with this because I'm going to have to look through this whole thing to read all of it. Okay, I'm just double checking. Alright, I think I have a grasp of how many things, how many times things are pointed out. So... It's basically 2944. I'm just going to guess. 2944. That's it. Yep. Yeah, I was freaking right. You open the safe. So it was basically, yeah, how many times the words were said. Specific words. Um, there isn't much inside except for a few scattered papers. You pick up a few that have been clipped together. There are newspaper clippings. It's a small article, the kind that sits nowhere near the front page. It's about a missing child, thought to have run away from home. Let me start my timer. Oh, God. According to the article, the parents went to check on their son at night, only to find him missing from his bedroom, with only the bedroom window left open. Oh, so the the son used to sleep in... That was his room, the tatami room, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I think it's this... They're talking about this house. The parents insisted that there was no reason for their son to run away, but authorities found no forced entry or struggle to signify an abduction. A missing child? This article is from nearly 10 years ago. You pick up the next article on the pile. Oh my god. Missing child, runaway or abduction? I'm pretty sure it was an abduction. Whatever that was knocking on my door, that must have gotten him. And if I left it unlocked and pretended to sleep, I probably might have been abducted as well. <laughs> it's another article about the missing boy. This one goes into detail about the investigation and how there were no signs of either abduction or the boy running away. The next article you pick up is distinctively bigger than the previous ones. Couple goes missing inside their own home. Whoa, you read over the article. It's about the same couple with the missing child, except this time they were the ones who went missing. After not hearing from them for days, a relative went to check on the couple only to find no one home. When the authorities went to investigate, however, they found that the house had been locked from the inside. The only thing open was the window of their missing son's room on the second. Okay, authorities are dumbasses, okay? They're stupid for not actually investigating that. There's a picture of the house with the article, but looking at it only confirmed your suspicion. It was the house you're in right now. So they got abducted in this very house. And yeah, I'm not surprised. You check the date of the article. It was written just a few weeks after the first missing child one. Yeah, because he got. He, it took him a while to eat the child, okay? Then they went. He, 
He got hungry again and went after the couple. He's like, oh, there's two for one. He probably grabbed both of them. I don't know. You take a look at the other articles, and they all seem to be about the missing couple or the child. The last one, however, is a small article about Furukawa housing and acquiring this house four years after the incident. According to the article, no one wanted to move in after it happened, so it was sold at a considerably smaller price. That explains why it was so cheap! At the bottom of the newspaper clippings pile, there's a handwritten note. Previous tenant disappeared without paying rent, thought to be some kind of schemer or con artist. There's another pile of papers inside the safe. He put the newspaper clippings back and grabbed the other pile. Aiko left me a message today that she wanted to stop by the house to say goodbye before she moved away, but I couldn't answer at the time. I should have told her to stay away. When I got home, no one was there, but her shoes were by the entrance and her bag was on the table. That window was open too. I think it took her. I can't tell this to anyone, they'll think I did something. It's true that I wasn't the best boyfriend, which is why she broke up with me in the first place. But we still had a lot of respect for each other, and I don't know why I'm doing this accent. And I wished her the best at her new job. I swear, I could never do anything to her. She hadn't believed me when I told her about that thing. But still, I should have stopped her from ever stepping foot back. Okay, my mom, mom, mom. Saliva. I should have stopped her from ever stepping foot back in this house. And now she's gone. It took her over there. I've blocked up the window now because it seems locking the room didn't do anything. And tomorrow I'm getting the hell out and never coming back. I'll try to warn the agent who rented me this place, but I'll doubt he'll listen. What does he mean, it took her? You read the notes again and then one more time trying to make sense of everything. It's hard to make sense of it in a way that doesn't involve wild outlandish theories. You decide to put it away for the night. Maybe you can look it over tomorrow. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go back to sleep. I'm leaving. God damn it. Stop doing this to me. You're just... Oh my god, can I lock the door? Oh, I should... What? What's this? Oh. What? Um... What do I do now? Do I look out the window again? Oh my fucking god. It's open again? <gasps> oh my god, it's gonna happen. It's gonna freaking... It's gonna pop out now. I have the slightest feeling that this is probably the end of me. This is probably the end. Oh my... Oh my god, I'm done with this game.